Now it's about 4.15 on November 9th. I opened this fence up. She's the first one, my lead cow. I started hollering. Actually, I didn't. She was already walking up here and I just encouraged her to come this way and back on the corn stalks. They've got an unrolled bale there and then they've got some grass. They're coming from the yard there where there's water and mineral and uh, I don't know if I'd call it a windbreak. Um, the woods is more of a windbreak today coming straight from the west and the wind is uh, brutal. Horses are doing good. They're still chewing on some pasture. These two came out of the shelter. One's still in there. That's all right. So they're starting to file through. I've got something different today now. I've got the whole herd together, my big little herd here. Uh, so I've got the three Coriannies in here. I've got the six yearlings. Uh, depending on how these videos pop up on the uh, on the YouTube, um, I'm not in order because uh, so I might be repetitive or I might skip along. Mainly because uh, the internet out here is just, just awful to upload, even with my glasses sh shooting video from my sunglasses. It uh, come on. Come on! Yeah, use your feet, don't holler. Uh, it's the quality's not high, so you wouldn't think the upload time would be. The last time I tried to upload, or I did upload my video from my glasses, which was about a 20 minute video, it took me about 20 hours. That is no joke. Uh, it was, it's terrible. So I tried to do everything from my phone here um, because I have unlimited data and it's way faster. I could do a 15 minute video in about oh, 20 minutes, maybe half hour. It does not go up in high definition. For whatever reason, they don't let you upload in high definition if you're not connected to Wi-Fi. I don't know. Anyway, that's a So we have here one that has not been on corn stocks at all. It was beautiful last night. Come here. They're doing fine. Their hair is nice and fluffed up. It's dry. Uh, once they get kind of all grouped up, they'll already actually, I can feel a big wind break from them. I can actually, I can smell them. I can feel, no kidding, I can feel just a little bit of heat. At any rate, it was time to move them. I'm glad I did because it was about 15 degrees this morning. <laughs> With the wind, it was a lot colder. I, I don't even know what the temperature is. It's, it's got to be getting down in the signal. Single digits. Come on! Come on! So now we got a little more here, which is actually when you get more within a certain degree, and this is stuff I study and experiment and read and watch videos. Is you, know, you get your stock, they call it stocking density. You can actually have it too low. And it, it will need enough of what they should. And then this way, you can I can already tell they're. Not forced anything they normally wouldn't eat, it's just a competition thing. So now, hopefully, instead of just completely walking the whole time, they're gonna go to eating more, which is evident of them coming in the stuff they've been on 24 hours and settling to eat. Come on, Bob has got his butt to the wind. Uh, right there. Oh, now all three are faster. There's quite a 
quite a bit of grass out here. There is an unrolled bale. But... So I'm glad I moved them. The water was getting to be a huge issue. Uh, when I say move them, they were started down. before. Come on! You're going the wrong way. Come on! Come on! No. They accidentally knocked down a couple of fences last night because I didn't... It was even darker than this when I finally moved them. And so no harm there. I, you can't blame them. It, some of this fence is real hard to see in the snow so I gotta look into different fence lines. Uh, so far so good. They can see these blue posts really well. So they just knowing there's posts there, they know there's a fence line somewhere. So it's starting to look like a little bit of a herd now. It's all, uh, I guess it's just all depends on what you're used to. But just adding these nine, I guess, makes a huge difference. Copper's feeling good. Copper helped me move them to this morning, and I'll get video up of that soon. Um, they broke through that other line. There's another, where that gate, where they came through, there's a line that runs all the way across because I don't want them, there's some good stockpiled grass up there and I want to wait for them to go on that until uh, either doesn't seem like they're going out here anymore or maybe I can't get, there might be a time where I just can't get, get these little portable posts in and out. These little blue posts are so nice. Uh, they just came right out and the ground's well frozen. there's going to be a time where they won't do either and if I had an abundance of posts I'd just start setting them all up now and then just reel the line up and down but I don't um, would have maybe enough to do another line of posts it takes nine to get from this end to that end which is about a little under 700 feet um, I go about 25 paces or so and put a post in and that works that's been working really well Boy, if this wind would die down, which is starting to, it'd, it'd be gorgeous out. Uh, just it's, it's pretty, a little bit of snow cover. It's not enough to bother, because that's quite clear. They they just keep eating right through that. That's nice to see them here. Got one little calf eating hay, which is totally fine. I fill up on hay. Again, I need to... Once they figure out these fences, they're not, they don't... For the most part, if they have enough feed, they don't try to knock one down. They just they knock that one down where he was at. And then, like I said, that other fence line, just because it was, by the time I finally got him up here, which was a little bit of a chore because they they stopped eating the, the corn cobs that they'd find. And it was hard to get them away, but with the help of a, a good dog and, and persistence and a little frustration, I finally got him to come this side come up from down there. The most went, but there was a few stragglers, but including this one. Hondo helped me get that one up. She's uh she's good. She's a heifer. Hopefully be a replacement heifer, but she kind of is she's a little independent kind. So that's about it. Gonna be uh, a chilly one tonight. Uh, what's usual about our weather is there's nothing it's always unusual. Continue to get some more winter hair, um, stay dry, keep eating. They look really good. They're happy. I think they are. They're thriving. That's the important thing. And they've got um, 
lots of variety to eat, including some grass here, some weeds. They still pick at this. this they got that flattened down. Um, even this brown stuff, they'll eat it. Uh, one of my horses, when she was coming up to me, this, this kind of weedy stuff, it's out there. It's just not quite quite as tall. That was a management problem this year. It was, that was, uh, it, quite honestly, it's a little embarrassing to have that much weeds out there. I think it was ragweed. And it was looking really good, and then all of a sudden the weeds kind of came up. But anyway, when she was coming towards me, she was biting the tips off of those little weeds. So they just, they get something out of it. She found some corn. Boy, the wind is just all of a sudden dying right now. That is outstanding. So that's a little update. Um, I, didn't, uh, I did get my six yearlings separated off and in the shelter and I was going to load them and take them in but by the time I got everything done it was probably a little late to get to the this way station because I got to go in twice of course once empty once full of cab of yearlings and it happened but I think they're going to do pretty good on this so probably not open this weekend so probably by Monday I'll, at least I'm set up I've got it set up better I've got a little alleyway system to go right into the uh that's the beauty of this portable fence. I went from trying to get those calves, those yearlings in, kind of going around. There's a pond in there, and they're smart. They just go ring around the rosy, right around. And uh, so I just, a few portable posts, a uh, reel, and 20 minutes of my time. And now I've got an alley system. Um, and as long as I don't crowd them too much, they'll respect it. Uh, it's plenty wide, so just a little update.